And yada yada, y'all doing? It's me, Shiny Window, and y'all, I thought it'd be really neat if we went back and reflected on the 2016 Rogue on Vogue comic because y'all, 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 this was a big surprise because when you think of Dirty Bomb, you know, it's a free to play open beta shooter, right? But then the Rogue on Vogue event brought out so much narrative, so much writing, so much cosmetics, just so much in, in a package. And it was a, a huge wake up call, like, oh shit. And the biggest one here, the biggest like, oh, moment was that this was good. Like the comic that was presented and the narrative that it had and how the gameplay affected the comic because whoever you played the most in, in Dirty Bomb, that mercenary would be in the comic. I'm so mad. I'm so upset that this comic and that the event itself and just some of the writing and creativity goes behind DB is never fully appreciated so it's also a reason why I'm doing this thing just to go back and tell you hey look at this so let's read this comic and let's let's get started y'all all right so y'all the main gist behind the Rogue on Vogue comic was to give Amy an origin story and I was uh, way back when I was talking to one of the developers of, of DB which was Pinflux and he told me that originally the devs didn't want Proxy to lose an eye, they actually wanted her entire arm removed and replaced by a robotic arm. Not the wow. Holy shit. I think that's why the four new mercenaries in Dirty Bomb, Turtle, Javelin, Guardian, and Hunter, all have some sort of robotic hand. Yeah, I think that's really key. Oh look at this, Max Boschke. It's Max Boschke. He was just killed. Oh, who's this guy? I don't know who he is. Back when this event came out, there was a bunch of videos for it. There was a really obscure video of them, the devs, trying out the board game Clue. There was also a video of Amy playing Clue as a board game to help de detect uh, who the culprit is. Ah, really strange stuff. And I remember back then, when this comic came out, somebody at the, the dev team at SD decided to make a Twitter account for Max Boschke, the guy that was killed in the news video. And I thought it was really, I think it was really clever, and it was really in depth because it gave little hints and leaks onto Amy's concept art, onto Max Boschke as a character. It was just an overall very fun thing. However, there was one mess with it, and that was when nobody was told that the Twitter account existed. And your immediate thought is, okay. Someone is leaking information. Someone is getting all the stuff out. Uh, who is it? Uh, we spent so much time and work on this. Uh, something is going wrong. And like, oh, it's like one of us. Why didn't you tell me? So th there was a little fiasco, just a miniature fiasco on Twitter back in 2016 about that. Well, that was it. That was it. The whole thing was the whole thing was cute. So uh, oh, look at Snitch. One thing that the devs have not really gone off about is um is Snitch alive? Because Snitch is obviously hurt here, and Amy talks to it. I believe the art was made by Pinflux and Cal. Did I mention that before? Yeah, so Pinflux boarded everything out, drafted everything out, and then it was followed by visuals from one of the artists, you know, Calder, who also worked on Brink. Look, this looks so good. Damn, Max is, he's, he's a jerk for trying to kill Amy. Look how good this room looks. Yo, I'm so, like, disappointed that this comic was just not appreciated. It is a highlight, it is a wake up call to what SD is capable of and what they can do to DB and its creativity. Look, Amy looks so, she looks so good. Look at that, what outfit is that? She looks fancy, she looks so good. Oh, look at the way she sits. Oh, look at that window, look at that. Click, click of the finger, click, oh. Ooh, this candle. So in this part, Max is just trying to distract Amy, like, oh, Amy, you're so good, you've You've done so much for me. Here, hold this candle, which uh, will alert Proxy to kill you. But Amy's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so exy. Oh, my God. Uh, one thing that I'm very flustered about with SD is how they portray Amy. Because whenever Amy gets into free rotation, whoever is writing up the, the blog post or the Twitter post or fucking whatever always has to mention, hey, Amy's a femme fatale, oh, she's a femme fatale. I don't think they know what a femme fatale is, because Amy fits more of a hacker detective more than a femme fatale, because can Amy be sexy? Absolutely. But she's also a detective, she's a hacker, she's a hunter, she's all sorts of different things. She even, she's even like a chef or something based off her dialogue. So it's like, yeah, Amy, she's sexy, she's a femme fatale, but she's a lot more than that. Oh look, she just fucking throws it. I love this scene. Look, she's like, mm, oh, this candle, it's gonna burn my nose. Catch. And then look, uh oh, bam. Proxy, you done goofed. You done goofed. Oh, I love that effect. That's so cool. Like this, the pacing for this is incredible. And the art that goes along with the orange and the blue 
It's just, oh, Sniffy. Catch! Bam. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. I, I, yo. Yo. I'm so mad. I'm so angry that all of this stuff was not appreciated way back when. It's still not appreciated today. Like, this is incredible. Oh, goodness. Amy even has her own room somewhere in London. It's implied to be near Dome. You know, she just set up in, a, in some abandoned apartments. I love that through all of this, she just, she wears, she still wears her hat. Her hat is iconic with her character. It's like, Amy without a hat on is like, you're not Amy. <laughs> Dang, I guess I gotta go back, y'all. Look how good Amy looks in that. I like how she looks kind of buff. It's like, yes, yes, I love that the artist did not forget that Amy is a bodyguard. She's an assassin for hire. She she can fuck you up and look good doing it. Max Boschke probably gets Amy to go on the runway. Uh, you know, like model, 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 fashion, pose, pose, and then shoot somebody. Oh, goodness. Oh. Lord. I like the way Max looks here. Like, very soft. But then he's still a piece of shit. So, like, catch, catch, catch. Bam. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, this is so cool. Anyway, let's get forward. She's like, oh no, oh Amy, what's happened? Oh, leap. Oh no. This is so cool. God damn it. This also confirms that, oh, Proxy can drive. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I think it's, it's, it's cute. It's like, Proxy just being so dramatic. It was... Such a close call, too, because the second highest rated person to be on Amy's hit list was actually going to be Vasily, I think. And it would have made sense, because Vasily's a sniper. You wouldn't think Proxy would snipe, but no, but yeah. But, uh, but, uh, uh. Anyway, I'm mumbling. Look at Paris. Look at the, uh, the fucking Eiffel Tower. That's pretty. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad it was Proxy, though. Like, it's cool. It's cool that the mascot for DB ended up, like, getting her eye taken out and was effed up and now has even more lore. Do not fail me. And then she throws a stitch. Yo, I was, uh, back, back, way back when, I made a deal with Paul Wedgwood himself, like, on social media, because he was, um, he was following me at the time because I would not shut up about DB, and he was actually, he looked a little impressed that somebody, like, somebody, one person was really into the lore and characters of the game. And so we were talking, and I made a deal with him, where if I got these questions right, he would tell me a bit of the lore. And so I asked him, is there anybody inside the EV? And he said, I don't know. God dang it. So I don't know if the snitch is alive or if there's somebody in the EV. So who knows? All right. Could, <laughs> fucking Mia could be in the EV. I love the art here. Like, I love the painterly style. Like, the artist killed it. Look, it's the snitch. Do you see these sound effects? It's like, it's really cute. Do not fail me. <laughs> Swoosh. <laughs> so cool that's what the snitch is seeing and proxy that's some bad driving damn what is that so, oh those are like the uh, ability icons on the side that's some really good like reusing of assets on it so cute oh it's like oh that's that's proxy in the car like ah. so cool y'all so cool look look at that look at like that pose and look at amy's biceps oh my god look at that lighting look at, look, Proxy's just ruining. <laughs> she's like, I'm out of here. I love this expression of Amy. It's, it's like, she's an assassin. She's a bodyguard. I love that Amy is such a professional that she just went straight for Proxy. Went, you know what, fuck this. Leaps out of a window, hops from building to building, throws a snitch out. The snitch is here recording evidence with, uh, with Amy. What currency is that? Is that like, is that French money or is it UK money? British I don't I have no idea. I don't know no goddamn geography. It's so cool. It's so cool that fucking MarkServe has their own like business card. I wonder what would happen if you call that number. I've never tried. I love the transition between look, look, the card is still there. That is so cool, y'all. Stop doing that. That is so cool. So clever. So nice. And I love that there's coffee. Because y'all, coffee has always been a recurring joke in DB's universe. Even though with Amy as a character, she's like, oh, what would I do for a decent cup of coffee and some civilized bread? And like, even when you revive a mercenary, they talk about nothing but coffee. And I love that in Mercs of HQ, there is just coffee machines everywhere. The mercenaries are addicted to coffee. And look at this. Amy is a hacker. It's very easy to forget that about her character. That she's, she's a hacker. And she does that. Wouldn't she get fired though? Because the Mercs ever found out that, um, she would, she used to hack their shit. But she'd be like, oh, Amy said bingo. <laughs> you wouldn't think a character like Amy, who's very brood, like, uh, 
oh, the worst thing happened in my life. Oh, my God, I have to kill Proxy. She would say bingo, like, bingo! She's like, yeah, my life is ruined, but bingo! And look, she's talking. She's talking to the snitch. That's so cute! And look at her gaming setup. There you go, she just throws a snitch at What does it mean? It's like, yeet! There you go, yeet! See, she lives in the apartments. That's where she's staying at. Uh, I think it's at Dome. See? There you go. See, I ain't crazy. I ain't crazy. I was looking at the Lord. I love how the trees are just brush strokes. That's cool. I love that. So, is the snitch alive, y'all? Oh, Lord, because she doesn't even talk to it in-game, and things have been changed and retconned in DB's lore or something like that. It's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, let's get that one. Alright, so this is the second part. Damn, y'all. That comic was great already, and there's a second part. Dang it, look. Proxy looks effed up. She looks scared, and she has the right to be. Because, look, this is so creepy. Thought you could outsmart me. Imagine hearing that from Amy. Holy shit. I love, I love this scene. This looks so nice. Like, the pose, the mist, the fucking photo bashed background. It looks so good, y'all. Like, look at that. Look at that. That could be a meme. <laughs> like, you could put any other mercy in here. Like, it could have easily been Vasily. I think the devs immediately went for Proxy because they're like, Vasily has enough shit on this plate already. He had to try and kill his sister. He ran away. He lost his job. You know, let's leave him alone. He's even heartbroken. Oh my goodness, poor Vasily. And then it's like, Proxy's like, oh, oh, what's that? You move, you die. And Proxy's like, try me, bitch. <laughs> I love, I love her makeup. She borders between tomboy and like girly girl, where her outfit, you know, it's like, it's very sort of practical. But then she has a tattoo, she's got makeup, she styles her hair right. Y'all, I love, I don't like this pose. The hell? That, bam, bam, bam. That pose. That is such a powerful pose. That is like, I love the knife, I love... The arm, I love the snitch, is fucking pissed, it's red! And then Price like, oh, okay. Oh, oh my god, look at her arms, like, uh, like something to show you. Uh, 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 uh. I love the way Amy looks here. Look, she's beautiful. She looks so good here. I love her hat. I love her hat, I love her hair, and look at Brock, she's like, oh no, I got caught, and she looks at the camera like, don't tell anybody, don't tell anyone it was Max Boschke, shh, don't tell nobody, and she's like, mm, Max Boschke, for killing you, and then, liar, this, oh my god, y'all, it's so easy, so, so easy to forget that Amy is a professional killer, that she is a bodyguard, that she can whoop your butt so easily, and then, here comes this page. And you are reminded that, okay, yeah, she can fucking kick my ass. I don't get this part, because Proxy looks fucked up, right? So, I don't think she was entirely blinded by the snitch. I think it actually just zapped her eye. That's why you, you see cuts in her face. And then flashback to this beautiful scene where that could have been Amy. If Proxy had just done her job right, she could have been retired, had millions of dollars in her camp. But no, no, instead she, she fucked up. Like, y'all, it's so messed up. My proxy fucked up so big, like she had one job, to shoot Amy. And what does she do? She shoots her employer. Just look at proxy, look where she is now. She's lost an eye, she's covered in scars. All she had to do was press one button. I'm not sure if there's symbolism here, but I, I like that uh, Amy's face it just coincides with uh, proxy's face. Like, it's like, what are you trying to say? What are you going to try to let me into? Like, please understand that SD, although they do some questionable stuff, their creative team and what they put into the narrative of DB is very clever and much bigger than what the game can provide. So it's got me thinking, what does this mean? Amy could have seen herself in proxy like, oh, well I was just a naive fucking bodyguard assassin chef lady who like eats people. But now I'm my own monster, I'm Max Boschke. Cause you know, seeing his face there, you ruined my life. That's such a powerful line and proxy here, who's like, oh shit. I fucked up. I ruined myself and I ruined Amy. This is what I love. Like, my favorite thing about this comic is that it is a bit complex. There is a little bit of depth. SD could have so easily put in a rivalry between Proxy and Amy, but then they're not. They're not enemies. They're just two people caught in a very shitty situation where Proxy was hired to kill Amy. That didn't work out, but then she inadvertently saved Amy's life and she's alive now. And so Amy, you know, she could have easily just killed Proxy then and there, but she realized, oh, Proxy, you done fucked up. This is all misunderstanding. My life is ruined. You know what? Let's call it quits. Let's start off fresh. And what does Proxy do? Proxy could have fought back because y'all know Proxy. Proxy could fuck you up, y'all. She has a gun. She has mines. She doesn't do any of that. She just sits there thinking, oh shit. 
I fucked up. I messed up. You know what? You come work for me. You know, I have these folk called Merc Serve. They'll, they'll pay you well. Let's start fresh. And what does Amy say? She walks away and says, I'll think about it. Y'all, 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 y'all. The Rogue on Vogue comic is so good. You wouldn't think it would have been made by the devs behind Dirty Bomb. But here it is. Showing y'all, hey, look at all this amazing stuff. It's, it's like the comic is a snitch. It's like, hey, <laughs> hey, look at my comic. Read it. Look at it. We're just trying to have a fun time on DB and bam, lore. So anyway, that was the Rogue and Vogue comic. It was such a good comic. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all appreciate the work that's gone into this. Because y'all, it really is an underrated gem of, of what's happened at DB. And it's just so nice. Y'all, I'm so happy. Like the devs, they really outdid themselves with this. Love y'all.